This is problem number five on the probability review. Uh, make sure you read the question once again before you start uh, watching the video. So when you read the question, we are given some information. The cholesterol levels of women in a certain age group is approximately normal. The mean is 185. So the mean for women is 185. Uh, milligrams per milligrams per deciliter the standard deviation is 39 milligrams per deciliter so let's write down that information first that's for women the blood cholesterol levels for men in a certain age group is given to us and uh, the mean is 222 milligrams per deciliter and the standard deviation is 37 milligrams per deciliter. So write down, in, as in any problem of this type, write down the mean and the standard deviation clearly. And remember that it's the population mean mu. This is the population mean. And this is the uh, population standard deviation. Now let's read the question. It says, what percent of men, so the minute the question refers to what percent of men, and specifically referring to men, then remember that the mu and sigma that we're going to use for this problem is the ones from, are the ones from the men's distribution. So that would be mu equals 222 milligrams per deciliter and sigma is 37 milligrams per deciliter. So what percent of the men, so as we are writing that down, let's see what we need to figure out, P for percent or probability, have cholesterol levels, so X is the variable which is the cholesterol level, greater than, so greater. write down your greater than symbol, the women's mean cholesterol level. So that's a number that we have to pick up from here. What's the women's mean cholesterol level? It's 185 milligrams per deciliter. So this is the probability that we need to figure out. Now note here that this is not a hypothesis test. It is not a confidence interval. The only reason why I'm saying that is because on the final exam, a lot of students will just assume that this is some sort of a hypothesis test or some sort of a problem that requires a confidence interval. But the minute you read the question, you have to know. It says what percent of or what is the probability of. So you know you're calculating probabilities here. So what is the probability that x is greater than 185? So what we need to do is consider the probability in the normal distribution because that's what the question says. So the first step to answering such a question is or finding the probabilities in this case is uh, standardizing the units first which means converting the x's to z's. So that's the first thing to do and standardizing means converting all the x values to their corresponding to the corresponding z values and the formula that we use is x minus mu divided by sigma that will be given to you but you just have to know when to use it so probability that x is greater than 185 is the same as the probability that z the minute you've used standardized it you need to convert the x to z probability that z is greater than 185 minus 222 which is mu divided by sigma for the men which is 37 uh, milligrams per deciliter. So using your calculator figure out what the z value for 185 is. So the z value for 185 is negative uh, 1. But since we are finding the uh, probability that z is greater than negative 1, we need to find the area to the right of the z value negative 1. So the next step is to go to the table and the table that we use is table b for the z distribution. But always remember that the 
table gives us the area to the left, to the left of the given z value. So find your z value, find the table entry that corresponds to your z value, which is negative 1, uh, and the table entry is 0 0.1587. Remember that 0 0.1587 is the area to the left, always. The table in our textbook gives the area to the left. Now, what we need is the area to the right because of the greater than symbol. So the area to the right is 1 minus the area to the left. You can only subtract uh, the areas from 1. Do not subtract the z values from 1. So once we do the subtraction, that is what will give us the final answer. So the final answer is 1 minus 0.1587, which is 0.8413. So the reason why we subtracted the area from the table from 1 is because of the greater than symbol. And follow this little sketch I have here. So what are the steps that you have to follow? First of all, write down the probability clearly what is the probability that you need to figure out in symbols if you write it down the next step would be to standardize it how do you standardize it change x to z and use the formula x minus mu over sigma to standardize 185 in this case figure the number out using your calculator so the next step is to simplify and write down your probability uh, in terms of z, which means you've standardized the variable. The last step is to go to the table, and the table is table b, and the table really gives you the area to the left. So the table entry says 1.587, and that's the table entry corresponding to z equals negative 1. That is the area to the left always from table B, but if we need the area to the right, as we do here, then all you have to do is subtract that area from 1. So unless you've used the table, there is no subtraction. It's only after you use the table, you either use the entry from the table, if it's the area to the left that you need, but if you need the area to the right, then you subtract that from 1. Now let's look at the various questions that could be asked in, in the same problem. So looking at the first one, so let's read the question. It says, uh, suppose a person passes the cholesterol test if her cholesterol level is less than or equal to 200. So it's a pass if the cholesterol level is X cholesterol level X is less than or equal to 200. So when does a person fail this test? The person fails this test if the cholesterol level is greater than 200. So sometimes you might have to figure out what you need to find, that is the probability that you need to find, uh, carefully thinking through the question. So if a uh, passes less than or equal to 200, then fail is, an op is the opposite, which is x greater than 200. Now that is the probability that we need to figure out here. The probability that a woman's cholesterol level is greater than 200. Now what are the various steps? I'm not going to do the whole problem, but let's just go through the steps real quick. First of all, Write down your probability clearly. The next step is to normalize it. How do you normalize it? You change the x to z. You standardize the, uh, the numbers by using the formula x minus mu divided by sigma. And remember, this is the exact order in which it has to appear. Do not switch the order. Uh, you'll get a completely wrong answer if you switch the order here. The next step is to figure out the area to the left of the z value that you get from your calculations from table B because the table always gives you the area to the left. Now in this case, since we're 
looking at numbers greater than we need the area to the right so that's when we need to subtract the table entry that we get uh, in the previous step from 1 to get the final answer. Now another possibility is this type of question. Suppose we need to find the probability that the men's cholesterol level is between 175 and 225. So here we are referring to the men's uh, cholesterol level. So we'd have to use the mean and the standard deviation re re related to the men's distribution. So suppose we need to find the probability, so that's P of, the cholesterol levels between 175 and 225. So when it's between, we need to write this as an inequality. So 175 less than x less than 225. So that is the probability that we need to figure out. And this is the first step to solving the problem. You need to absolutely make sure you write this down first. The next step, as usual, is to standardize the variables, which is going x minus mu divided by sigma, and make sure you enter the numbers in that order. The last step is to take your z values to table b. You get two entries, one for uh, uh, the, the second z value and then you get another entry for the first z value subtract the larger I'm sorry subtract the smaller from the larger so you go L minus larger number minus smaller number to get your final answer so these are the uh, various uh, types of problems you can see uh, in a similar question